Hey guys, so I'm back with a video. If you like how this look turned out, then stay tuned and keep watching. So first, I'm going to use Taliq's. I actually have all four, but I ran out of light. So now, to make light, I have to mix medium and fair. Their colours are way, way off. Medium shouldn't be this dark. Anyways. This is their CC cream. So first time in a video I'm using CC cream. It has an SPF of 29. That's a random number. Look, you probably can't even see that, but fair isn't even that fair. I could probably just about get away with that using it on its own. I only use a tiny bit of medium because it is so dark. That would probably cover maybe an NC40 or something. That's not medium, that's dark. So imagine what dark is. I don't think Sleek's line is that good in shades. Did I really just put... Cause... So apparently I'm putting foundation before concealer. I always forget to do that. And as you can see, it's a perfect match. Okay, so that's a bit of lighting. I don't know why it's camera, especially when the sunlight comes in and out. Sorry about that, the lighting goes really, makes me look like a ghost. But yeah, that's the foundation. So it gives you that dewy, it's not foundation, it's a CC cream. Okay, now the CC cream is on, you can tell it gives you a glowy, dewy look. Some might say oily, but basically this doesn't give you a matte look, so it's up to you. On that, but I powder anyway, so I'm always going to get a matte look with my foundations and CC cream. As you can tell, I look so tan now, like this is such a perfect match, but when you're mixing two different colours, of course you're going to get a perfect match. Next, I'm taking the concealer in shade 01, so it's the lightest one there. Okay, so put a concealer on and I can't even see it come off my skin. So the fact this is shade 01 and I'm not even fair, I mean, it, it does look quite dark. So if you are actually fair, I don't, I don't think the concealers are good for you or these type. I know you guys probably can't get most of these products because I've realised these are quite old, discontinued, because I looked on Super Jog website and I think even Sleek and I couldn't find any of these. This concealer is called Hide It Concealer and I could not find it on the website. We have an updated concealer, so the shade might be better, but the range I have now is poop. Like, you can even barely even see that. The foundation is quite high coverage, so you don't really even need that much concealer. And the fact I put foundation on before, it's kind of hidden anything that I would have needed to cover. Okay, now the concealer's done, less powder. Their powder, again, their range is so, so awful. This is supposed to be light. Can you see that? Look how dark that is. That looks like it's going to be so orange on me. Light. Light should... And they only have three colours. Light, dark and chocolate, I think. And light should be like, white. So let's try this out. Okay, so it comes with a little sponge. Kind of goes everywhere. Okay, let's try this. At least it's sleek. It has holes in it, so... I feel like it's going to be messy so I'm going to get my brush and just do that. Oh my god, can you see how dark that is? It's not even blending out, oh my god. Hell to the no. I do not like this. 
no I'm putting that back in and yeah that's a no for me do not like the translucent powder because it's not actually translucent anyways let's move on to the brow Okay, this isn't bad. It's a lot better than the Miss Bowie one. But this also isn't really a brow pencil. It's a cold pencil. So, yeah, they actually do brow kits and all that now. It's a good match. It looks very natural. It doesn't actually come with a spoolie. It's just a pencil. So, you have to think about that. Yeah, I'm just going to do my other one now. So this palette is the Snapshots one, the 732, and it's just the colourful one. I don't remember even using any of the orange, but that's how much full like it is. It crumbles, it's just, it's not good. I've got the little sheet here, so I'll tell you what colours I'm going to use. So let's see. Okay, first I'm going to use Martini. It's just like a white colour, just for like a base to put the actual eyeshadow on. That could be a nice highlight, you know. That's very white and shimmery, which you wouldn't normally put as a base, but I mean, it's pretty. I can just use a shimmery over it. This palette is mainly shimmers, there's only about like four or so mattes in the palette oh that might be good under the brow bone oh kill him okay so I'm going to use lotus flower which is their nice purple I am obsessed with purple so I don't know if you can see that it is so pretty Oh my god, that colour is so nice. So you're just going to do it all over the lid. And then after we can do like a matte colour and put in a crease. Goals. And these are so buttery. I find most brands that the shimmers are buttery. It's only the matte ones that seem to be a bit chalky and crap. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. The shimmeries don't have fall out, but they would be such good highlighters. Oh my god. Okay, so for the crease, just to like blend it out, I'm going to do like a smoky colour. This one is called Purple Haze. So next I'm going to use the mascara which is another product I haven't seen on the website. So all of this is basically just an old range. I don't have an eyeliner so I'm just going to use mascara. Okay the mascara is not, I can't believe I'm saying this but Sleek mascara is not better than Miss Sporty's. But then again, I haven't tried any of the new ones. This is the old one, so bear that in mind when watching this. But Miss Sporty gives such an amazing length, and these haven't really grown that much. Let's do the other eye. Okay, and that's the mascara done. So let's go on to the cheeks for highlight and contour. I actually want to try the eyeshadow I had as a highlight and see, because it's so white, you could literally wear it as a highlight. Oh, 
damn look at that highlight though okay I need to stop using eyeshadows highlight because newsflash I actually have a highlight and contour kit this is in their dark one so let's try their highlight I don't actually like gold highlight so let's see how this goes So I'm seeing a little bit different now because I've put white underneath it. The only thing about wearing like gold highlight, you can't put it on your nose because it looks like you're burnt. I mean it's nice but I just don't like it. So next we're going to use the bronzer. Look how dark that is. So if you're any lighter than me, I definitely would not recommend using dark because it's really dark see so if you're not into the strong contour look then I would recommend this and it's actually a contour kit so you can't even complain and say oh you're using the bronzer so you just blend that in I like like I've said I like strong contour so this isn't your thing then don't worry about it. I'm just showing you how it works. Especially if you're this skin tone, the dark and then the gold highlight looks good together. Because I don't like gold highlight. What was I thinking when I bought Max one? I don't know. I looked at it, I even tried it on store, I was like, I don't like it. But I do have one I bought it anyway. But you know. So you blend it in and it doesn't look bad. So there, that is that. Next, lips. So I have the option to either take a lip liner or lipsticks. These lipsticks, again, they're not available anymore. Because online they have like these black ones. They don't have like the light bottom ones. So yeah. I might go for lip liner because I have in other videos. So it makes sense. Especially as the lipstick isn't available anymore, it doesn't make sense if you like it you won't be able to buy it so it's pointless but let's see which one's a lip liner okay so there's two lip liners one in shade bare essential and another one in shade ruby I'm gonna go with the red theme of lip liners I've been doing because they're all actually different um let's go ahead and do my lip This is quite like a natural nudie red. Is there is a such thing as a nude red? Like, it's not like a bright bam in your face, it's quite dark. Like a cranberry brownie red. You can see it already. This is very hard to use. I like other ones, they don't just glide on. This one, you have to proper like, fill it in. It takes ages, come on. So that is the lip liner done. It's quite a cranberry colour. I feel like that doesn't even matter the eyeshadow, but like, purple sparkly eyes, deep cranberry ready lips. But yeah. I don't think I'll be recommending that because it takes ages and it comes out quite light it's not a deep and considering how hard I was pressing just to get some colour out yeah I definitely wouldn't recommend so guys that is the end this is how it turned out definitely a different kind of look <laughs> considering my other videos but yeah Hey guys, it's the end of the video now and I'm going to just run through the things that I liked and didn't. So first, foundation. I love this foundation. I keep calling it foundation but it's actually a CC cream. Which in itself is amazing because the amount of coverage it gave me. Okay, so this is me doing coverage but I could get away with it being full. Yes, I could definitely get away with it being full. 
because considering I put it on first, I couldn't even see the spots really that I needed to cover. Which brings me on to the next one, concealer. I do not like their concealer range. Maybe that's why it's not available anymore. Because their light was terrible. How can your lightest one not even be lighting in my skin tone? It was like the same. I could probably wear that as a foundation, honestly. So, weren't a fan of that. Powder. What was with the powder? Look at the colour. That is not light. That is like medium, maybe even dark. And when I tried to put it on, you could actually see it was dark. So I had to get my foundation brush and try and brush it away. And it was terrible. Uh, hopefully, if they have not expanded on their shade and made it better, I would definitely not recommend it. I pretty much didn't even put any powder on because it was just rubbish. Next, shall we move on to the brows? The brows are looking good. It was their cold, I used their cold pencil in like a brown colour. Their cold, it's actually an eyeliner pencil and I used it as a brow. But then again, they do do actual brow kits and all that now, so it's up to you. But, I'm pretty happy. It's better than Miss Sporties, but I wouldn't say it's better than Emmy Ways or Makeup Revolutions. I can't say Makeup Revolution because I need to use a pencil or use a gel, but Definitely not better than Emuways. I mean, it, the colour matches better. Emuways is quite dark, but it just took ages. I don't know, I just, I don't like it. Next eyeshadow, like, I'm amazed. Can you, can you see? It's so glittery and buttery. There wasn't any fallout. The colours blended well together. Here's a close up. So I used this colour here first when I tried to do highlight. It does it looks quite matte in the not not all that in the pan, but it looks amazing. So you definitely could get away with it as a highlighter. So as you can see there's an orange. I haven't let you use that all, it literally broke and fell out and crumbled to pieces. So you've got like a nice bronzy goldy here. You've got a transition shades you could use like light ones look at that lime green you've got a few greens you've got the dark one and one there you've got a pink so I think overall that palette is good I don't know how to compare to maybe the bright makeup revolution one or the MUA one well hands down this is better than the MUA's one because there's pigment there it's buttery Emmy ways the pigment isn't really there. It's like you're blending into nothing. And this is quite a bit chalky. Let's go on to the cheeks. Okay, so the highlighter, the gold one, I'm not a fan of gold highlighter, but it is good. I'm not gonna diss it just because I don't like it. As you could tell by the bonds it was a bit in your face. Definitely if you're fair, do not even go for this shade. But if you're dark or medium like me, definitely recommend it. So once you blend the bronzer out, it, it looks lovely. The highlighter is really nice. So yeah, that's what I've got to say about that. The next, the lips. The lip liner I did not even like. It took ages and I was actually going really hard on the lips, just trying to get some colour out. It didn't smooth back across nice. It was a bit like you had to drag it. Oh yeah, how can I forget? The mascara. The mascara's good. It doesn't really give you length. I'm like, I can't remember saying it, but Miss Forties is better than Sleeks. It just makes them there, separated. So if you're into that natural, just, I want to see my lashes look, then go ahead. But that's not the type of mascara I'm into. And yeah, that is it. My review of Sleek. I think they're a pretty good brand. They're quite underrated. They're getting bigger, but years ago they weren't really even heard of. They are, I think, pretty more known in the UK than the US. I'm not sure on that, but yeah, I like the way this looked. So if you liked, comment down below if you tried any Sleek. And yeah, until then, I'll see you guys later.